Let's talk to this smoking dude. With the purple mohawk. Hey. Beat it. Your face is toe up from the flow up, motherfucker. All right, ladies and gentlemen, man, I fucked up my camera already. Welcome back to the channel. And we're gonna do more Batman Telltale games. Let, let's jump straight into it. No, Just no, no intro needed. Oh, I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. We're jumping right back where we Wayne, left Wayne, off. You've, you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Why would I be bleeding though? Yeah, it looks like. Maybe why would I be bleeding? No, oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just uh, cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Yeah, <laughs> ban us up. Hey, Don't try me, that, Master Bruce. But uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. You're talking out your backside, Harvey. Why is he here? Do they not know at this point well, that he is an underboss? What do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. At least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Right. Let me worry about that. You already look like Two Face. Play nice. I don't know how to play nice, baby. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you know how much money I got. Come on, Falcone. Thank you Bruce for fucking welcoming Wayne. me into your home. Bruce Wayne, bitch. Enjoy yourself. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. I know you do. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps you <laughs> will be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. And there's a certain level of power you feel inside yourself when you are Batman. It's incredible. Even if it is just a video know, game. Falcone, my I don't give a fuck. Raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's private audience oh, come on guys Bruce you'll be fine out there Harvey I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes we talk alone just you and me sorry Harvey yeah I'll uh I'll get a drink or something yeah, you do you do that inviting this Christ. motherfucker into my house strong of you and ain't no one told you better yeah well that's just like Harvey huh Wants to make sure the rules <coughs> are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any will. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. You say indigestion, so, though? Let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. 
One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. All right. What's your point? Yeah. Let that sink in. I don't see his point. Nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. Alfred just rolled in I like a man seeing them out. He wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce, while this city's still standing. It really is crazy, like, right now. I have no worries. I'm not worried about a thing. I'm Lil Wayne right now. I have no worries. I'm Batman. <laughs> you can't hurt me. I run this shit. I'm gonna make sure I try and keep a nice balance between Bruce Wayne and, and Batman though. I'm gonna treat them as separate characters, you know? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do what Bruce would do. And I'm gonna do what Batman would do when the time calls. But I'm gonna always remember, I have a very powerful friend as Bruce would say. Fucking Falcone, what's he doing in my house? Should have kicked him out. It's me. Oh, it's crazy. I wonder if you could change the color while, like, in between. We might do that every now and again. It ain't gonna make too much difference though. I just chose blue because that's. Uh, he wears blue. Well, he's worn blue sometimes. Well, he's worn red sometimes. I've never seen him in yellow, though. What was our options? Yellow and green? Never seen him in those colors. So. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with breaking and entering incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. We have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. The notorious Batman was on the scene, but failed to secure the stolen items. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. It's detective time, man. Detective time! All right, what we got? The Gotham Fee. Let's check the Gotham Fee real quick. Let's see what they're talking about on Twitter. Precious Major. Alright, uh, they talking about promising young officers. Hey, you want me you want me to read all this? You're now on day three of the fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Oh, I was about to say, yeah, I, at this point in the game he's not Commissioner Gordon. He's Lieutenant Gordon. Let's see. Let's check the codex. Okay, this shit isn't really let's see what you gotta say about Catwoman, new criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break-ins, she's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCP has no leads whatsoever, baby. Oh, we don't need this. Let's, let's take a quick walk around. What's that, a USB port? The back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that storm drive. Well, plug, plug the USB in, then. The back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. I thought this was the back computer. What? Are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or goddamn Zack Ryder on the on the on the new screen. Movie tickets what we got? Suicide Squad two tickets for su giveaway. Suicide Squad tickets. Batman got him. You seen him here first. Just comment, I want the Suicide Squad tickets, hashtag. Nearly fell off a building for this? Welcome, we'll get a 
plug it in. Gadgets tabled. Let's look at what we got. <clears throat> a spare. Spare grapple gun. All kinds of barangs. Sticky taser. We already we already used one of those on cat bitch. She fell it. That was I like that intro to the game though. That was clean. Her, her little gadget as well had me driving away. That was sick. Let's find out what was so important. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. You gonna put on the VR headset? The Vive? Oh, I don't... I have no clue what we're meant to be looking at at this point. Let's just keep... Okay, we can't rotate it that way no more. Can we go down? No. I don't know. This is a map of okay. the Eastside shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Mm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Oh, no, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. I have a job to do. Okay, a responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh, yes, you drive that thing like a bat out <laughs> of hell. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw us. Park. What? 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Cobble pop! 
discharge, what? illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. I don't really like Penguin. Now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. All right, we found another villain. Obviously, they ain't, they ain't villains yet. They're, they're gonna grow into villains. I feel like by the end of this episode, I feel like Two-Face, well, Harvey Dent will probably become Two-Face maybe episode five, and then that will lead on to, to season two. Uh, but come on, that didn't look anything like Penguin. God damn, he wasn't fat at all. Wasn't short. Well, he, you can't tell if he's short from a headshot, but... Where are I don't you, know. Full head of hair and shit. I didn't, I didn't even get a chance to read that. Let's see what this meeting is about, though. Should've came as Batman! Should, let, give him change. Give him some change. Uh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Remember, it was Bruce Wayne that gave you that shit. Burning barrel. I, I usually don't investigate every little thing when I'm playing these games, but ma majority of the things are pointless. They're just like kind of not even Easter eggs, but you know what I mean, like just things to to make the area, to make it alive mm -hmm. almost. Great. There's the statue, but no odds. He just said he's running late. Shit. Something's about to go down. I can already feel it. Let's talk to this smoking dude. With the purple mohawk. Hey. Beat it. Your face is toe up from the floor, up, motherfucker. He looked like a fucking piece of clay. He looked like Clayface. God damn. He said, B, you lucky I don't fucking have my gauntlets on right now. I scratch your face all the way up. Play me. These people, motherfuckers need to know who Bruce Wayne really is. Who is that? That camera even looks like Penguin a bit. Did that say JME on the wall? JME has made it. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. All right. Let's do this. Hey, you heard it, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. Next one. I was kills you. I was gone. And him. I was told to come here. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right. This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're in the moment. Woo! Come here. Get me. That'll do. Woo! Roundhouse. Roundhouse. Mmm. Liver shot. All right, let's work, baby. Stay down. Mm, how how he sneak up on him? Though? That disarm, though. That <laughs> disarm. Just deconstructed the whole weapon. Ooh. Oh! Yo, you may have just killed a man. Oh! It's my park. All right, he, he Mine. didn't. You hear that? I see you've done a little bit of growing up, Peter. Why did I call oh. him Peter? He's Peter. Hey, Bruce. Oswald. Got a little, uh... Peter Oswald. That's not, I don't know. Yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? You didn't need to take it so far. Some folks are fine hearing, Bruce. Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. 
I've experienced that, but it, it's been, actually, it says Cold Pop Park. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. This place is a wreck. It's better off bulldozed. This park still matters to me, Bruce. It's all my folks left behind. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, you did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce. I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. You know, when I saw you at the party last night, I thought... Bruce Wayne. Ah, has it changed a bit? Maybe I was wrong. Shouldn't have been a surprise when I saw you with Carmine Falcone. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. He's way too tall to be penguin. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. He about to ask me for a dollar. I ain't got nothing, man. Which brings me to you. He about to ask me for money. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. <laughs> I know, right? Stop flattering me. The revolution starts. We're going to smash windows and cross off names all the way down. That's a battle you won't win, Oz. No. Oh, I've learned a thing or three since we were kids. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. I'm on the right side. I'm on Batman's motherfucking side, man. Good you need to join that fun. side. I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. You need to see if you're invited to join the team. Because we already know what's about to happen to you. All them beatings you've taken. Press conference. Fair enough. I'm kind of waiting to jump back into the suit again. But for now, I think we're going to end the video here. Like I said, for now, we're just doing real quick videos. Because... Shit's packed. I would have done a number of videos yesterday if it didn't take all fucking day for the shit to get up on the store. They done fucked up my whole scheduling. But, um, like I say, today I'm gonna get this up. Tomorrow, I don't think I'm gonna get a video up tomorrow. But Friday I'll be able to record a few. So through the weekend as well, we'll have this finished. I hope you're enjoying it. You are enjoying it. It's Batman. Subscribe or eat the booty. Peace.